guys, welcome to another mental health video on dating or trying to love the narcissist female. I'm just going to make it about females tonight, guys, um, because that's who I've dated in the past is a bunch of chicks. Um, but anyway, guys, tonight's video is talking about what women are currently dating for and what they're not dating for and what men are dating for. Um, men, I think, are more, are more used to being self-sustaining in the fact that men are usually, they usually have jobs, they usually have their act together nine times out of ten. Um, and as in regards to paying their own bills, paying, paying their rent, um, most of us do pay our own way. Like I pay my own mortgage. I have a car payment I pay. Um, so I'm pretty self-sufficient, right? That being said, I'm not like a woman that says I don't need anybody. I would love to have a loving woman here. I would love to have a wife here that I could love, care about, you know, hang out with. Um, for, for men, it's really, we like quality time. We like to just lay in a bed, watch a movie with a girl and get some snuggles. Um, maybe have a little good sex once in a while. But what's happening with the dating game with women, guys, is women, more or less, they're not dating to date the loving the loving guy. They're not looking for guys like me that are loving, but I'm not rich. I'm not a Chad. I'm not wealthy. Um, Chads are like, you know, your athletic type that's got a lot of money. Um, that's not me. I'm kind of a poor guy. I probably have a hundred bucks to my name right now. Not going to lie to you guys. Um, because I have a tight budget. Um, I make just about m enough money to pay my car payment, my house payment, and that's it. Um, I remember, I remember one of my girlfriends came over, you know, there was a week a girl came to visit me and I, I didn't even have money to buy her a donut. That's how broke I was. Cause I had probably just paid my house payment or just paid my car payment. So I'm one of those guys that, you know, I have a lot to offer a woman. Like I'm good in bed. It's actually, I'm good in bed. Um, but I'm not wealthy. And, and the thing with women right now, guys, is women aren't looking for men like me that just would love them, care about them. Um, the government more or less has put people under Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you go on Google and you look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you'll see that, that the government is pretty much on purpose um, putting citizens below Maslow's hierarchy of needs, most likely to ruin the family unit to uh, have an effect on population control. Like if they ruin a relationship with Bobby and Sarah, now there's no kids being had, um, maybe less kids on welfare. Uh, the people in the U.S. government, guys, are extremely fucking evil. They don't give a fuck about little guys like me and you. They only care about themselves and their families. That's why the fucking border is open right now, because they don't give a fuck about any of us. That's a fact, guys. Um, but in regards to women, you know, in regards to women, they're not dating. Like I said, they're, they're not dating when they, when they meet a guy like me at the coffee shop, they're not thinking, Oh, Steve can love me. He can give me a kiss when he gets home from work, snuggle me in bed and love me unconditionally. They don't give a fuck about that because they're below Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You know, their rent's $1,500 and they have a child at home and maybe just one job. They work in a, at a pizza shop. And so literally almost their entire paycheck is going on rent in, in their car, like me. Um, so because they put women below Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the women are needy. Let's be honest. All the women in the United States right now are needy. That's why they always talk about when you ask a girl what she's looking for in a guy, she's going to number one answer is provider. Why does she want a provider? Because she's not making enough money for herself. She's struggling to pay her rent. She's struggling to pay her car payments. And I think women just, you know, they, their perfect, uh, their perfect day is a stress-free day. And they see, they see the only way to get that is by dating a wealthy Chad type individual, you know, a good looking guy that their friends can be impressed with. A lot of these women are narcissistic. So, uh, so they want, they have to have all their friends approve of the relationship. So if their friends don't like, like you, then you're not getting in. You're not getting in. Um, their friends have to like you to get into that relationship. If their friends don't like you, you have zero chance because all these women run around here. Most of them are narcissistic. So they're not going to date you unless their friends approve of it. Um, but because the government has put them below Maslow's hierarchy of needs, 
their number one answer is I'm looking for a provider. That's why I don't have women chasing me down right now because I am a poor guy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm more or less poor. I make just enough money to pay my house payment, my car payment, and have a little bit of food. I mean, maybe if I really tried, I could save a couple hundred bucks a month if I really tried. Um, so, so that's what's happening. You know, you go out on the street right now with a camera and ask women, what are you looking for in a man? The number one answer is going to be provider, someone to uh, someone to pay my rent, someone to pay my car payment, someone to help me with bills. Um, and like I said, that's because they're struggling themselves. They have a hard time making their rent, hard time making the car payment. So they're seeking that peace. Right now, the women could give a fuck about could give a fuck less about love. They could give a fuck less about a guy like me that can give them a kiss after work or snuggle them in bed or, you know, be there for them when they're older. They're not even thinking about that. They're just thinking about how am I going to get my next meal? Oh, that's right. I can manipulate some, some guy, some simp guy to take me out to eat. So they're manipulating all these fucking guys to take them out to eat when they have no plans of fucking the guys, no plans of spending time with the guys. They just manipulate them for free food. Uh, meanwhile, they're dragging these guys' hearts through the mud, which I think is dangerous. You might piss off the wrong guy and end up dead. Um, that's what these women don't get. They're heartless to men. They're cruel to men. And then they wonder why these guys go off the deep end, kill a girl, or fucking end up in the news for killing a girl. Probably because they were treated like fucking garbage by these women. And the women just think they're going to get away with it. Newsflash, they're psycho guys out there. Uh, women, you got to be careful how you treat these men. You can't treat men like fucking dog shit. You might run along, you might run into a psychopath that you end up, end up killing your ass. Um, there is psychopaths out there. There's serial kill, killers out there that haven't been caught yet. Um, that's why it's important how we treat each other, how you treat your boyfriend, how you treat your girlfriend. But these women, they'll run around like they could give a fuck less. I mean, they'll cheat on you right in front of your face. They'll run out with another guy right in front of you when they know you have feelings for them. Completely cruel, heartless behavior. Um, they take advantage of nice people like me that care about them. Um, that's why I've learned to see the red flags, guys. I've learned to see red flags like entitlement. Like the last girl I tried to date was severely entitled. Always acting like I should give her money, bottles of wine, um, all kinds of things for free when she was giving zero into the relationship. I was getting zero back, but she kept asking me for money and for wine and for favors. Um, I've since blocked this person. I've blocked them on Facebook. I blocked their phone number. Um, I'm ready to end the relationship because this person's a full blown narcissist and more or less heartless. I don't want to be involved with heartless cunts. I really don't want to be involved with heartless narcissists that don't care about my feelings at all. These women will ghost you as soon as you're not doing what they want. As soon as you're not doing and behaving exactly as they want, they will ghost you. Like, for example, when my landlord kicked my girlfriend's dogs out of my apartment, she was gone the next day. And it's been over two years since she's been back. That is cruel, heartless behavior. For, to treat somebody like myself that knows, she knows I love her. She knows I care about her. And her behavior is cruel and heartless. Like I said, if I was to pick up a gun right now and blow my fucking head off, this girl would not give one fuck because she's a heartless cunt. She's a heartless, heartless cunt that could give a fuck less about my feelings. I could literally go jump off a bridge right now this girl would not give one fuck. That's what you're dealing with when you're dealing with a narcissist. They have a lack of empathy, which can also also co-occur with sociopathy or antisocial personality disorder. Narcissism also often um, co co lingers with antisocial personality, which can make the woman uh, sociopathic. That's what I dealt with with the girl that I was in love with. She was, uh, not only did she have uh, borderline personality symptoms, but she also had symptoms of antisocial personality disorder, which means that she was saying incredibly cruel, heartless things to me in her words. 
Um, all I can say is she's lucky she got a, a super loving guy like me because I think other men could have easily gone off the deep end, could have easily done things to her. Um, domestic violence is not okay, guys. I tell people all the time, you feel like hurting somebody, go for a walk. But some of these antisocial women will push guys to murder, will push these guys to suicide, will push these guys to homicide. Um, they will push your last fucking nerves with their cutting, cruel words. That's why it's important for you to use your coping skills. Check yourself into the hospital. Call crisis. Go for a walk. Call a family member. Call a friend. Anything you got to do to keep yourself and other people safe, do that. You could call 988, the uh, suicide helpline. Um, remembering that hurting people is not okay. But these antisocial, borderline, narcissist women will literally push you to the edge. They'll push you to suicide. They can push you to homicide. That's why it's so important, guys, to use your coping skills. You have to. It's very important. If you like beating the shit out of somebody, get your shoes on and go for a walk. That's my best advice. If you feel like physically hurting your girlfriend, get your shoes on and go for a walk. And then the second part of that is end the relationship. If you feel like hurting your girlfriend, I think it's time to end a relationship. Uh, if you feel like slapping your girlfriend, end the relationship. Um, you don't need domestic violence charges on you. For one, you're going to lose your gun rights forever. You're not going to be able to ever legally own guns once you have domestic violence history. So I recommend all men, use your coping skills. Get your shoes on. Leave the apartment. Leave the house. Don't hit people. Just, just use your coping skills. Take those deep breaths. But like I said... These narcissist women, if they have co-occurring disorders like antisocial personality disorder that makes them sociopathic, borderline personality disorder, they can literally push you to your last fucking nerve, guys. I've been there before. I've, I've literally been there before where I have been pushed to my last nerve by things that my ex-girlfriends have said to me. Literally cruel, heartless things. Like, what, like, I'll give you an example of a cruel, heartless thing a sociopath female has actually said to me. Um, I contacted a woman that I, that I had always loved and care about. She actually, she actually said something to the effect of, like, boo-hoo to me. You know, like, acting like, acting like I'm just crying for nothing. Uh, the truth is, I was, I was severely in love with this woman, and she literally ripped my heart out, almost drove me to suicide. Same woman almost drove me to suicide. Um, had a plan to kill myself and everything. Um, that's how cruel and heartless this, these women can be. The same girl literally almost drove me to suicide. Um, the same girl that said the cruel, heartless things. Um, those are the type of women that need to be careful. Those are the type of women that can push a guy to murder, that can push a guy to uh, suicide. Um, that's why it's important with women like this to use your coping skills Get your shoes on. Go for a walk. Um, because these women, like I said, they can literally make you almost to the verge of ending it, almost to the verge of hurting someone. That's why it's so, 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 so important. I know I keep repeating myself to get your shoes on, to call crisis, to call a suicide helpline. Um, because violence is not the answer. Um, but the reason why women will do this, guys, why they date guys like this is because they're hurting financially. And so that's why the number one reason, what are you looking for in a guy is, you know, you ask the women that they're going to tell you provider and it'll be along the lines of how much money does he make? Um, oh, they want you to make $100,000 a year. Why is that? Because not only do they want you to provide for yourself, they want you to financially provide for their life. Um, maybe they've been financially struggling, so they're looking for somewhat of a sugar daddy to, to take the reins. Um, my message to these sugar daddies is if these women are treating you like that, I think you should end the relationship because they're proving they're not there for you. They're not, they're not dating you for you. They're dating you for your money, and it can't be any more obvious. Um, you really want a woman living in your house that you know is only there because you're paying her car payment or you're paying her house payment or you're paying her apartment payment. Uh, guess what? When you fall asleep, she's texting other guys. 
uh, when you fall asleep, she's uh, blowing your blowing your uh, butler. You know, your butler, Bob, that you hired because you're a rich guy. She's sucking his dick when you're asleep. Those are the covert narcissist guys. They have no integrity, no morals. The same girl I was in love with literally fucked my best friend when he had a girlfriend and three kids. Literally, she calls this guy over to her apartment to have sex, knowing that he has a girlfriend, knowing that he has three children. These women have no integrity, no morals, no respect for other people. That's why it's important for you to see the red flags like entitlement. Um, th these are the same women that will ask you, ask you for a favor and then ghost you two weeks later. You know, like, like I had helped the same woman that I care about. I'd helped the same woman, drove her to jail, bailed her out of jail. Like two or three days later, she ghosts me because her dogs got kicked out of my apartment. Guess what? I'm not helping anymore. She hits me up again for a place to stay. I'm not helping because she's burned her bridge with me. She may be aside, aside the road with a flat tire. She could have hit me up to help her out. But guess what? I'm not going now. I'm not going to help this person because they have treated me like absolute dog shit for years. And I'm done. I'm done with getting used and manipulated. I'm done with getting ghosted. I'm done with getting, you know, all the, all the gaslighting, all the smear campaigns. The same girl went on a smear campaign and turned some of my friends against me. Um, that's what you deal with when you deal with a narcissist. But women in regards to dating, they ain't looking for love anymore. They're looking for the almighty dollar because our government has put them below Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you like videos like this, you can subscribe, like this video, share it with a friend. Till next time, Steve-O signing out. Boop.